Okay, so uh, I have my little tool cart here, and I'm going to use that as like a uh, scooter stand. And uh, so far, it hasn't fallen apart. I have a better look at this, but as you can see, they ran this wire across, but it was probably zip tied here, and the zip ties broke. And then the wire came down here and then got all chewed up, yanked and chewed. So hopefully, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that the controller and everything else is okay. The wires got caught underneath the tire and this thing skidded to a stop. It skidded that rear tire for like, I don't know, like 15 feet. So I'm going to roll it over and uh, well, I'm just going to put hook all the connections back up, turn the key on, and uh, see where we're at with it. Alrighty, so uh, here you can see some of the carnage. And it uh, looks like blue motor wire, green motor wire completely gone through. Those two are gone through. The uh, Looks like the yellow survived intact. And uh, I'm going to have to get my glasses. I'm having trouble seeing already. So these two motor wires. Oh, and then there's a little, looks like a hall sensor black. I don't have my glasses. I don't really care. i got to get my glasses. Catch you guys in the next one. Finally just cut them. Uh, for me, I always... Uh, think about it and screw around rather than just get it done so yeah this is finally cut I can uh, access everything on this side and uh, I'll just wire it up really quick and give it a test to make sure that everything's okay and it's just a uh, just the wires are ripped and hopefully it's not ripped out of the controller or anything like that Alrighty, so it's not the prettiest job ever, but everything's hooked up. Uh, I was really surprised that it I had to use the uh, red wire nuts here. And then these guys are just twisted together and then uh, very poorly taped over. Okay, it's kind of hard to see without a wide angle lens, but uh, here goes. Hopefully there will be no smoke or... No extra drama. So I got 60 volts there. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that turned on. Sorry, I'm just a little paranoid with how things are. Oh, good. Thank God. So awesome. That's, uh, everything should be okay. So that looks good to me. Let's put it in a turbo. No, it seems a little weak. There it goes. Let's see what the top speed is. See, that's weird that uh, something definitely kicked in. Everything should be hooked up just fine. Yeah, here I am touching it. You know, you need to be careful. You might not realize it, but uh, that's like three-phase electricity going through there. It will hurt. Yeah, that was really weird how that motor kicked on, huh? It's kind of hard to watch both the speedometer and the rear wheel at the same time. But 20... Did this last time around 30-some miles an hour. There it goes. I am super happy super super happy I haven't been riding this thing a lot and uh, I don't know I'm 
kind of a little rough on it. And this shouldn't have happened, but that's kind of like my luck, and that's kind of the way life is. I gotta start letting that stuff not get to me, because uh, lately it's been depressing me, that's for sure. But I'm really, really happy. All I have to basically do is uh, undo everything I did, solder it all up, figure out how to run that wire, and I'll be good to go, and I can uh, ride this thing again. Uh, yeah, this scooter... As you saw there, it did like 43 miles an hour, you know, just spinning with no weight on it. And I think I've had it maybe close to 40 miles an hour. But uh, anyway, if it was in the in the other setting, it, I think it would definitely go 40 plus. And uh, it might actually come close to 50 miles an hour. I kind of get too scared at 35, so yeah, I don't know if it's ever going to... If I'm ever going to do a 40 mile an hour speed run with it. But for now I'm really, really happy. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. All I have to do is repair that wiring harness. And hopefully I can get back in the groove of uh, making some videos. I also have to repair the Tesla. I have the Hawk here. And uh, the Hawk's ready to go. And it's a nice day. I might just hop on it and... Uh, get some wheelies in for the day. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Have a good one. I hope things are good for you. And until next time, I'll catch you later. So I'm trying to be really quiet right now because my wife saw a possum, a little baby possum running across the garage.